Whether you have a dishwasher or not, you are probably going to have to hand wash dishes at some point, whether it's pots, pans, silverware, something super delicate, you're not going to want to put it in your dishwasher. And of course, if you don't have a dishwasher, you are the dishwasher using the sink and your hands. So in this video, I'm going to show you six ways to be super efficient when you're hand washing your dishes, because let's face it, there's the right way and there's the wrong way. And the wrong way wastes a lot of time, water, and your energy. So let's get to it. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you hate doing the dishes. One of our key Clean My Space philosophies is to have the right cleaning tools whenever you're approaching a job. That way things go a lot quicker. So when it comes to doing the dishes, it makes sense that I share with you my favorite tools for actually doing it efficiently. So first things first, you need a really good pair of rubber gloves. You want one that goes right up to the end of your forearm, that way you're not gonna get water shooting down the cuff while you're washing your dishes, that is super gross. You also wanna make sure that it's a little bit tactile so things aren't slipping out of your hands. Also, I recommend a really good scrub pad or sponge. I prefer using a scrub pad only because I find the sponge can sometimes cling on to things like chia seeds and other things and they kind of stain and look funky. And finally, a good bottle brush. That really helps you get into some awkward locations when you're scrubbing things that aren't necessarily square or circle. We've covered off tools, so now let's talk about products and techniques. So what I like to do is fill one of my sinks with hot water and then I will add one or two squirts of dish soap to it. Now I like doing this instead of running water and adding dish soap to my sponge all the time. It's more economical. You use a little bit of water, a little bit of dish soap, and you're good. Now if you want to sanitize those dishes, you can add about five drops of therapeutic grade eucalyptus oil or tea tree oil and that will effectively knock out bacteria from your dishwater. Lucky for me, I have a second sink, so I'll fill that with just plain hot water. And once I finish washing my dishes, I'll dunk it in that plain water before I put it on the drying rack. And that just allows it to be cleansed from the soap without me having to waste more water. Okay, so now that everything's set up, I'm gonna take my dirty dishes and put them into that sink filled with water and soap and let them pre-soak. In cleaning, you always need a method to your madness, and there's no difference here when we're hand washing our dishes. When I'm doing that, I like to wash all of my like items together. So all cutlery is done at one time, all cups, plates, bowls, anything that you can imagine, you just wanna group them together. Just think about like Sesame Street for doing your dishes. Now the reason we do this is because we wanna maximize the amount of space on our drying rack. If you do a bowl, a plate, a cup, like you're gonna take up so much space in that drying rack and you'll have to unload it several times. It's just wasting your time. Rather, if you do everything together, you can be very efficient with the way that you set up your dish rack, almost like playing Tetris. And then once all of your stuff is dry, you can unload it and that will be that. Doesn't matter how good of a cook you are, we have all been there and we have burned something at the bottom of a pot or a pan. And then we kind of look at it, we feel resentful, we want to leave it for a few days and not think about it. But there's an easy little hack that you can do to lift up pretty much anything off the bottom of a burnt pot or pan. So here it is. Fill the bottom of your pot or pan with a little bit of water, maybe about an inch or so. Then you can shake some baking soda into the bottom and bring that water up to a boil on your element. Now once it's boiled, rest the potter pan on a silicone trivet. And what this will do is allow the potter pan and the water to come to a cooler point. Then I'm going to use this little silicone scraper here to kind of scrape off any of those bits on the bottom. It's kind of like deglazing a pan, but we're using cleaning tools and baking soda here. Now once that's done, you can give it a good rinse and a dry. By the way, this little silicone scraper is actually really handy to use when you're just clearing off your dishes after a meal. Whether you wanna scrape your food into the compost or if you're scraping it off before you rinse it and put it into the dishwasher, this is something that restaurants use in dish pits to get rid of food quickly. We here at Clean My Space test all of our cleaning hacks and we will not recommend anything unless we know it works. So here's one that we absolutely love. If you have a really challenging pot or pan and you want a quick fix for it, here's another option. 
you can find a piece of tin foil, even if it's one that you used while you were cooking. It's just a great way to upcycle it before you toss it out. But rather than going out and buying steel wool to scrub off anything that's burnt onto your stainless steel pot or pan, crumple up that piece of tin foil, add a little bit of dish soap and water, and use that tin foil to scrub off any stuff that's caked onto the bottom. It acts like a piece of steel wool. It's pretty cool, it works, and it's economical. Even though I know better, in my wine drinking days, like before I got pregnant, <laughs> sometimes I wouldn't really want to hand wash a wine glass. I'd say, you know what, it could go in the dishwasher. And it was a roll of the dice every time. Sometimes the glass would come out and it would be okay. Other times, there wouldn't be a glass anymore, but there would be a little cleanup job after that had its own little occupational hazards coming along with it. So really what we need to do is hand wash those wine glasses or any delicate glassware. Now the technique to do this is to fill your sink with just a little bit of warm water and use a little touch of dish soap. You don't want to use too much. The more soap you use, the more cleaning you have to do. You basically want to scoop up some water and I just use a gloved hand, but you can use a cloth as well. And I just like to rub the inside to get rid of any of that residue. Then I'll give it a good rinse and I hang the glasses upside down on a wine glass drying rack to drip dry. Now this is really efficient because it helps all the water come out. There's no condensation. There's usually no streaking or watermarks. But if you do notice some, the simple fix is to take a flat weave cloth with a little bit of white vinegar and polish up any of those marks. Once I'm done dealing with the dishes, I'll take off those rubber gloves, hang them to dry, and then I wash my hands, dry them, and moisturize them because I don't know about you guys, but even when I'm washing stuff with gloves on, I always feel like my hands need a little bit of extra TLC. Now that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what is the one thing that you cannot stand hand washing? For me, it is my stainless steel water bottle. I don't know what it is about that thing, but it requires a lot of extra attention. So let me know in the comments down below, what's that one thing that you cannot stand to hand wash? A special thanks to our friends at Kohler for sponsoring today's video and for providing us with all of the great handy products that you saw me using. If you'd like to see even more products from Kohler that will make your everyday kitchen cleanup easier, please visit kohler.com slash kitchen organization or click the link in the description box below. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about Clean My Space, you can visit our website, which is cleanmyspace.com. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.